Hello, my name is Augusto Cespedes Gonzalez, and I'm auditioning for my Toronto Metropolitan University performance program. I'll be performing a monologue from Seven Stories and from Hamlet. Thank you. There's another. Why may this not be the skull of a lawyer? Maybe his quiddities now, his quiddities, his cases, his tenants, and his tricks. Why is he to suffer this rude knave now to knock him about the sonnets with a dirty shovel and will not tell him about his actions of battery? <sighs> this fellow might be in time a great buyer of land with his statues, his recognizances, his fines, his double vouchers, and his recoveries. Is this the fine of his fines? and the recovery of his recoveries, to have his fine paint full of fine dirt? Will his vouchers vouch him no more of his purchases, and double ones too, than the length and breadth of a pair of indentures? The very conveyance of his land will hardly lie in his box. Must the theater himself have no more, huh? And then I began to understand other things, like my shoes, little prisons for my feet, absolute definitions of space. I could run a million miles any direction and still never escape them. Or my hat, how it formed a firm idea around my head as if to say, that's about the size of it. My mind could expand into infinite space and still never change the shape of my head. In the mirror, I saw a condemned man serving a life sentence in his own body. Even the car I drove to work. My car, this thing, this instrument of liberation, it wasn't freedom, it was merely the idea of freedom bound in metal, a kind of hope with a speed limit attached to it. Now, I was traveling a unknown route on a familiar road that led the direction where I was going. But not by coincidence, the asphalt wasn't laying itself a path in front of me. I was merely following a prearranged course until something happened. Something that had never happened before. When I finally arrived in town at my usual space, it was taken. I was late for work, you see, and someone had taken my space. There was another car in my space. So I sat in my car for a moment, not knowing where to go, staring straight ahead. I put my car in gear, and I drove into it. I drove right into this other car. There didn't seem to be any other choice. No place else to go, you see. So my car in reverse, it backed up, and I rammed into this car again. And again, and again, and again, until this other car, this in intruder of my space, was smashed up against the side of the building like an accordion. So now I had my spot back. So I parked, I got out of the car, and I turned to face my office, and that's when I realized I wasn't in my space at all. Somehow I had gotten completely turned around. This wasn't anywhere near where I worked. I didn't know where I was, I had not any idea. I always depended on this route to bring me here, as I believe that one thing always led to another. Then I saw this building, and I thought I'd come up here to get a better perspective on my exact situation. And from up here, everything's...